Hello everyone, Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In today's uh, tutorial we will go through cluster bombs in the F5. Cluster bombs are the ideal weapon if you are attacking uh, soft targets like uh, uh, trucks or parked aircrafts or even infantry or you just feel like committing some war crimes. In the F5 we have uh, the CBU-52 Bravo and you can carry them on station 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I do not really recommend that you are carrying uh, bombs on more than two stations like uh, station 3 or 5 and that is because they are quite draggy and uh, your attack uh, can be quite difficult if you are carrying bombs on all stations like I have here. So let's uh, remove some uh, of the bombs. So now we have bombs on the two outer uh, pylons to uh, create a bit of spread when we are dropping them. So let's uh, jump into the cockpit and uh, take a look and how to deploy them in practice. So here we are in the cockpit and uh, ahead of us we have our uh, uh, usual uh, airfield with some targets. Here we have uh, our usual uh, trucks and our tank as a target and here I have placed uh, a couple of uh, MiG-19s that we are going to attempt to take out. Using cluster munitions is a little bit uh, different uh, than uh, using uh, snake eyes or uh, low drag bombs. But I always tr aim to standardize what I do in uh, DCS as much as uh, possible and this is no different. There are essentially two ways to deliver the cluster bombs. The first one is uh, dive bombing and the other one is uh, a low level and uh, high speed attack. And I'm going to show you both of them in this video. We're going to start with a dive attack. Just like uh, with using uh, low drag bombs, we are going to aim for an, uh, a dive uh, angle of uh, 20 degrees. And we're going to have a slightly higher uh, release speed and initial uh, speed. We're going to have an initial speed of roughly 350 to 400 knots. And we're going to uh, drop our bombs at uh, 500 knots. And we are also going to have a slightly higher uh, initial altitude of between 7 or and 8,000 feet and we are going to drop our bombs at uh, 3,000 feet. Let's start up with setting our reticle depression to uh, 95 like so and this one to manual and of course make sure that your external store switch is uh, set to bombs and that uh, power is activated uh, to relevant stations. We have our bombs on uh, the outer pylons. And of course uh, set the uh, uh, arming to uh, whatever. I prefer nose and tail. This one you don't need to care about. So with that out of the way, let's uh, try to make a dive bombing attack. Let's on pause there. Let's go for the aircrafts. And let's a uh, little bit longer. All right, let's dive in. Our attack profile is quite good. A little bit of a shallow dive. And our speed is good. and pickle. And that was quite a good hit, I must admit. A lot better than uh, what I normally do, to be honest. Alright, so that is how you can conduct a dive bombing attack using the clusters. Now let's uh, go for a, uh, a low level and high speed attack. Okay, so uh, now I have uh, made a go around and we, uh, once again we are going to attack the airfield. We are going to aim for the vehicles this time. And just like with uh, the dive bombing, we're going to try and have an, uh, an airspeed of 500 knots. And we're going to fly 1,000 feet above uh, the ground. I forgot to mention uh, this in uh, my previous attack, but you need to know the altitude of uh, uh, your target area. And in this case, we can see on the top uh, left, it's uh, 69 feet. 
so we need to fly at uh, 1070 feet above uh, ground when uh, dropping and we're going to change our depression to 136 like so and it's way down there now so let's uh, turn in and uh, see how it goes let's on pause there bit too fast and a bit too low decrease the throttle just a little bit bit too low climb and Uh, not the best attack, I must admit. I was a bit too low. As you can see, that was not the best attack, so let's uh, reset uh, the mission and try one more time. Okay, people, let's go for uh, one final attack and uh, let's go for the aircrafts this could do its time. Speed is quite good. Let's climb a little bit. Speed is good. A little bit fast. low pickle so as you can see it is uh, quite difficult uh, to get the parameters uh, just uh, perfect because uh, this uh, kind of uh, munition is uh, really sensitive especially to things like wind and the slightest uh, joystick input uh, when dropping can uh, actually uh, make you miss the mark by several uh, uh, several feet so keep that in mind when uh, using them but that was uh, what i had uh, for this video i hope you uh, learned something and uh, post a comment uh, if uh, you have any questions. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of videos and I see you in the next video.